Stage five of the Tour of Utah, you're looking at live images of the finish line in Bountiful, awaiting the riders after 115 miles, 185.4 kilometers of racing today. The GC battle will unfold on the final two King of the Mountain climbs with category three climbs up and over the legendary Bountiful Bench Climb before they come down into the finish line in Bountiful. As riders all trying to move up to the front and then a crash happening in the main group, took down about 25 to 30 riders, a few riders are getting very scraped up, a lot of bikes being tangled up. Almost everybody did return to the peloton. Then there was the second crash of the day. Watch to the right-hand side of the picture. Some big names being caught up in this one, including GC rider Robin Carpenter there on the ground for the Holowesco Citadel team. It looked for a while like he might not make it back in, but then we found him at the back of the peloton with a borrowed helmet that he had to take from a fan on the side of the road to continue. He says, thank you for the helmet. No interest in this group right here. This is going to be it for these guys as it looks like they're just waiting to be reabsorbed by the field right now. So it's going to go from 15 down to four. These are the last riders remaining out of the breakaway as they make a valiant attempt to stay away before we hit the KOM. 200 meters to the summit now. Chicon, Boivet, and Dillier, the three riders off the front of the peloton. Everyone else will be reabsorbed. And these guys are going to go up and over the top of the climb alone. Rally is doing a great job keeping these guys in check. This is exactly what they need to do today. Don't panic. Just make sure that you keep these guys within striking distance so Rob Britton can do what he does best over the final KOM. And we got a new leader on course as this is going to be Chicona going again. Julio Chicona attacks out of the group up to the summit one more time. Chicona loves this climb in Utah. Well, Chicona is stage winner at the Giro earlier this year. And he's looking to add a stage at the Tour of Utah to his resume as well as he goes up and over the second and final KOM of the day to pick up maximum points. Sepp Kuss will be second and then Rob Britton in third. What a ride this would be. You can see the blood streaming down the left knee of Robin Carpenter, a remnant of that crash earlier. But Carpenter fought back, and now he's in the mix for a stage win today as they approach the final kilometer of racing. Here comes United Healthcare up the left-hand side of the peloton. Marco Canola is there as well for the Nipo Vini Vantini team. But this is United Healthcare launching up the middle. Will they be able to hold on going head-to-head -head with Canola? And United Healthcare gets the win with Travis McKay. A huge day and a huge win from a cave. He survives up and over the climb. Gavin Mannion goes on the attack, and Travis McCabe seals the deal for United Healthcare. McCabe wins stage five in Bountiful. Travis McCabe picks up the win. The Italian Marco Canola right on his wheel holds on for second. Michael Rice, the Action Hoggins Berman rider, moved up into third. Robin Carpenter, who is there late, had to settle for fourth. And Sergey Vetkov hanging on for a fifth place finish for the Jelly Belly Pro Cycling Team. And there you go, current standings as, uh, well, they're saying Murphy in the group into fourth place. So Murphy was there at 34 seconds, and then Nielsen Palace in fifth uh, at 38 seconds overall.